the implant. Hello, welcome to our video series on contraceptive methods. In this video, I am going to tell you about the implant and how it is inserted and removed. The implant is one or two tiny flexible rods that are inserted just under your skin in your upper arm. It slowly releases a hormone to prevent pregnancy for several years. The implant is one of the most effective kinds of contraception you can get. Having it put in is quick and easy and you can have an extremely reliable and safe contraception for years. There's nothing to remember to do. If you're ready to get pregnant, you can get it removed at any time and your ability to get pregnant quickly returns. Most of the time, the implant can't be seen, though you can usually feel it under your skin. What can you expect when you're on the implant? Most women will have a change in their monthly bleeding. At first, you may have irregular bleeding and spotting. Over several months, bleeding often becomes lighter and infrequent. And in time, it's common to have no bleeding at all. This is normal and safe. Blood is not building up in your body. Some women may experience headaches, acne, or changes in weight. Often, these side effects get better over time. Some people think that the implant will move around in their body, but that's not true. Once an implant is inserted correctly, it stays where it is until you want it removed. Your healthcare provider will ask you questions about your health to be sure if the implant is safe for you to use. But it's a very safe method for almost all women, including adolescents. And it does not cause birth defects or cancer. An implant can be inserted anytime as long as you are quite sure you're not pregnant. It takes a week for an implant to become fully effective. So it's important to avoid sex or use condoms during that first week. You can also get an implant immediately after giving birth or having an abortion. And it's safe to use while breastfeeding. Here's how the insertion is done. The procedure is done under sterile conditions. The rod goes in the arm you don't use as often, inside your upper arm. The provider will clean your skin with antiseptic. Then, she'll inject the numbing medicine just under your skin. This will sting at first, but after a few minutes, you won't feel any pain. Then, using a special device, she'll insert the rod just below the skin. She'll ask you to feel the rod. Then, she'll apply adhesive tape and a bandage on top. The whole procedure takes only a few minutes. Removing the implant is usually quick and easy too. The health worker will numb the area just under the end of the implant. As before, it stings a little, but you won't feel any pain. Then she makes a tiny cut in your skin and pulls out the rod. If you want to continue using the implant, another one can be inserted in the same incision at that time. You need to return to the clinic when the implant's effectiveness is finished in several years, depending on the type of implant. If you're not happy with it though, come back sooner. You can get the implant removed anytime. And remember, be safe. Keep a supply of condoms nearby. The implant doesn't protect you from sexually transmitted infections. Only condoms do that. Keep these points in mind. The implant is a very effective, long-lasting method. Insertion is quick and easy. There's nothing you need to do or remember. 
learn all you can about your contraceptive method so you feel confident and safe and become pregnant only if and when you want to. You're worth it.